Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Teacher loses job over wedding photos. As a parent, you think that your children are in good hands when you drop them off at school in the morning, and you expect them to be taken care of by compassionate, qualified people. But when the oblivious parents drove up to the gates of St. Peter and Paul Catholic School that morning, they had no idea about what had just happened there. When they found out about the scandal, they were outraged. Jocelyn Morphy, a teacher at Catholic school in Miami, Florida, was loved by her students and their parents. She was a pillar in the community. She was 32 years old and she taught pupils in the first grade. It was clear that she loved her job and the kids loved her too. So when she suddenly went missing, nobody could understand why. Jocelyn had been one of the most popular teachers at the school. She was even called the Mother Teresa of Teachers by parents and her students. It had seemed that Jocelyn had always understood the enormous responsibility of teaching such young and impressionable children. But one morning, she was strangely absent. Stranger still, she'd left all her belongings behind. When tragedies occurred in the news, Jocelyn had always tried to address them with her young students, not in a way that would inspire fear, but rather in a manner that inspired hope. After brainstorming with her class, she decided to begin a project and leverage her social media presence and get the parents and community involved. Together with her class, she began a campaign that was called Hashtag Teach Hope. But the problem was that she was considered by some to be a little unorthodox. Jocelyn decided that the best way to instill hope in her students and give back to the community was for them to all volunteer at a homeless shelter. She got authorization from the school and sent a letter to the parents asking if they would like to contribute. But she could never have anticipated the response she got. Jocelyn was overwhelmed by the support she received from her students and parents. Donations of bread, cheese, deli meats, and other snacks began to pour in. Her campaign to feed the homeless was a huge success, and the parents were delighted that their children wanted to contribute to the community in such a positive way. Unfortunately, all of Jocelyn's efforts wouldn't be enough to mitigate the reckoning she was about to face. Every parent was ecstatic with Miss Morphy. She was teaching their children compassion and how to give back to the community. Indeed, she was an important part of the school and a big influence in their children's lives. That's why when she suddenly stopped showing up at school, the parents were extremely worried and confused, especially as this happened just after the teacher's wedding. Before Jocelyn had married her best friend and the love of her life, she had set up a wedding website that included all the details of her wedding so that her loved ones could follow the special event online. Of course, once the wedding celebration was over, she thought she'd return to her normal life and continue doing what she loved most. But then someone saw her wedding pictures. The wedding was a weekend-long event at the Key Largo Lighthouse Estate. Jocelyn and her partner got married by the sea, and they hosted a goodbye barbecue that Sunday. Jocelyn posted all the photos of the ceremony online for everyone to see, which turned out to be a big mistake. But what could she have done that was so bad the principal felt the need to fire her the very next day? That Monday, parents dropped their children off at St. Peter and Paul Catholic School as usual, for anyone who didn't know what happened, the day just seemed like any other school day. The parents and children were shocked to see that all of Miss Morphy's things were still there, which indicated that she'd left in a hurry. But the beloved teacher herself was conspicuously absent. Jocelyn was a well-known presence in the community, mainly due to the humanitarian programs that she promoted on her personal social media pages. Despite the Mother Teresa of teachers' popularity and excellent track record, the school saw her wedding photos and decided to fire her on the spot. When the parents and community found out why, they knew they had to take matters into their own hands. Dozens of angry parents gathered, ready to confront the school. Jocelyn's Instagram page was filled with photos of her special day as she and her partner were joined in holy matrimony. But what was meant to be a holy occasion wasn't seen that way by some. Jocelyn took to social media and wrote, This weekend I married the love of my life and unfortunately I was terminated from my job as a result. In their eyes, I'm not the right kind of Catholic for my choice and partner. Those who hadn't seen the wedding photos on social media were informed of the school's decision with a letter, which simply said, she is no longer teaching at our school, and that it was a difficult and necessary decision. You see, the Catholic school had a firm stance against same-sex marriage, so much so that when the principal saw Jocelyn's wedding photos, he immediately relieved her of her duties. 
but he wasn't prepared for the backlash. So in the following days, and videos on social media in after marrying her significant they other, a woman. The principal and well, then to pull on their Thursday, kids out of the seven-year veteran soon, teacher was abruptly no. fired we by the school's cheated. principal. She was the best kind of teacher that you can ask for. Say for our straight kids. or gay, and everybody, is a role everybody out here, for our kids loved her. One parent told the local media, "But would they get justice?" Unfortunately, Catholic schools are not governed by state laws. Ms. Morphy had committed a grave offense, yes. in their eyes, just for marrying the woman what? she loved. But Jocelyn gay, is still straight, fighting the school's matter. decision. Jocelyn she is humbled by all the love and support she's teacher. received from she family, friends, teacher. the students' parents, and the, the public. The school says Morphy she broke that the, the terms of her was contract, unfair, but didn't not reveal only to her, but to her students that. as well. The school says the decision to fire her was a difficult... But was the school in the wrong? Please share this with your friends and family.